Hello YouTube, my name is Hero, and today we're going to be talking about how to get to in-game in Black Desert while spending money. Now, my last video was more for the people who don't have the money to spend on this game and don't have the options available to them and this video is going to be for the people who do have money to spend on this game and the options available to them now keep in mind um i don't know how much money you have and how much money you're willing to spend but i'll just i'm just going to tell you what i would do if i say had i don't know a thousand two thousand dollars of disposable income on this game or something like that just money to blow basically this is going to be for people like that so Let's begin, and that would be if you go to function, and then we're gonna go to a Merry Goes Welcome package. Now, this is a forty-four dollar package. What you're gonna get out of it is five Black Spirits Spirits Essences, which is a really a big deal. But you're gonna get five Horse Skill Change coupons, which will come in handy. 10 Artisan Memories, which will come in handy. 10 Aliens Tears, which will come in handy. 16, plus 16 Inventory Expansion Slot Coupon, which is gonna come in handy for sure. And a Value Pack, which will also come in handy. But the number one thing that people buy this for is the Hedgehog Pet. Now, you may be wondering, what's the Hedgehog? And the thing about the Hedgehog is, if you go to the pet icon, you cannot buy a hedgehog any other way other than this pet. So basically, um, there are people who buy this. This, there are people who buy this thing just for the pet because you can't get it any other way. Now, what is a hedgehog? A hedgehog is a pet that allows you to um, gain more resources through gathering. So this pet effectively makes you make more money from gathering just from gathering and uh, increases the drop rates or the amount of items that are dropped dramatically from just from gathering alone. So once again, this $40 package is very good. Okay. So there's not, there's not gonna, it's not gonna set you back at all for getting this. You're gonna get the pet, you're gonna get the artisans, the, the amount skill change and inventory slots and a value pack out of it for four, for 44 bucks. It's a pretty good deal, but that's the only way to get that pet. So yeah, you have to do it that way. So the next thing that's on the list of items is we're gonna go to pets. Of course, you should get tier four pets as fast as possible outside of the hedgehog. You cannot upgrade the hedgehog to tier four. Um, well, you can if you bought four, if you bought four, I suppose if you bought four of those packages, but that'd be pretty stupid. So I'd say buy pets. Now, when you're choosing your pets, you also want to keep in mind their bonuses and what they have uh, to do. All you have to do is just highlight them and it'll show you what they're capable of doing. This one has skill EXP boosts and um, things like that. So what I recommend is you, you read, read each of these pets and what they can do. Birds usually are able to loot from a further distance while um, dogs and cats usually loot close closer to you. So usually it's recommended to get mostly cats and dogs and rank those up. The way to rank up pets, if you don't know, is you simply buy a pet and you buy another pet. So let's say two pets and you put them together to make an, uh, and level them up to make another one. It's kind of like fusion. So you fuse pets together to make a higher tier pet. And once you make a higher tier pet, they'll look faster for you. So the goal for you is to get four tier four pets. That would be the goal. That would be the most, uh, the most important thing for you to get out of the pets and to, in order to get that, it's going to cost you a lot of money. It's RNG, but um, I'll just throw the prices on the screen. And there's a minimum price for all of this. Uh, this is the minimum price. And yeah, it, it can get higher than that. But you want to get all four tier four pets. That's that's definitely number one. Um, that's going to allow you to loot way faster and make more money, obviously. And you have to worry about ever pressing R in any situation, no matter how fast you're clearing. So that's very important. Now, the next thing you're going to want to get is you're going to want to get um, if you've gotten complete uh, weight limit increase, you're going to want to get all of these weight limit increases, uh, inventory expansion. Sure. Why not? If you haven't gotten them already, but they, they are as necessarily required. However, um, some more things that you can get are transaction maids and storage maids. Now, what are transaction maids and storage maids? 
Transaction mains allow you to purchase items from the auction house, no matter where you are on the world map, one item per maid because they have a cooldown. So what people do is they buy multiple maids. You can also do that with your storage. It allows you to access your storage and, and do one transaction in your storage per maid. Once again, you can buy multiple maids to avoid the cooldown. Um, so what, what happens is um, what people do is they use these maids to access their storages and take out potions and things like that or put in money or, or repair their gear. There's a lot of different things people do with maids so that you don't have to ever go back to town basically so you can stay out grinding. You can also use transactions maids to post items that you collect. Say for example, if you're on Pirate Island and you get a red core earring, you can just post it to the marketplace and not have to worry about that inventory slot so every time your maids get off cooldown you can post items so you never have to worry about your inventory getting filled up because sometimes being in pirate island you could get too many accessories if you're soloing so that's another way to get some pay to win there you can also get brand spell stones if you don't know what brand spell stones are they decrease the repair cost by 30 percent and the durability consumption by 50 percent so buying brand stones um a bundle of six two thousand and that's going to cover most of your gear um, but what some people do is they put it on every single item, including their accessories, just so that they save a lot of money on, on, uh, so they save a lot of money on, just so that they save a lot of money on, you know, uh, repairs. Repairs do get expensive if you don't pay attention to them and you can save a lot of money by having brands on everything. So that's all of the Now what you now what you want to do after you've gotten all of those things those are pretty much things that you just buy once and you never have to worry about buying them again now these are we're going to go into the items that you can repeatedly buy now uh uh, one thing people really don't know is a 90 day value pack now you may be wondering well what's the great thing about a 90 day value pack all you get is a small 500 pearl discount right no you don't even get it you don't even did get a discount when you purchase this so what's so great about it well basically it's the same thing as a value pack but you get a little bonus for buying it you get 10 item collection increase scrolls these scrolls have been said to from people who purchase this I, I i don't purchase it it doesn't tell you how much uh the percentage is but people have told me that it's more than the comma sylvia tree buff which is 20 percent. so uh this is a very good item if you have the money to spend buying this will increase your drop rate dramatically it's for one hour so you got 10 hours for every uh 45 dollars so 10 hours of increased drop rate what people do for this is they save them for bosses or they save them for um they save them when a lot of bosses are spawning or they save them for when they're gonna have a long grind period at a very uh good profitable place like pirate island or even saucers really and you can get a lot more drops there but i'd i'd say try to save it at a place where you're gonna get real loot at like pirates, for example, red core earrings make you a lot of money. So using these scrolls will increase that drop rate a lot there. So that's this is the item that you can continuously buy over and over again to increase your ability, your uh, your ability to uh, get some advantages. Okay, so that's one. Another one is artists and memories. Artists and memories. When you buy them, you always want to buy them in a stack of a hundred because there's a big discount. Uh, you get a ten dollar discount for a hundred. All right, so what do artists and memories do? Let's say that you get a dandelion box or a Zaka box. You can use these artists and memories to increase the durability for each memory fragment. For each memory fragment, an artist and memory multiplies a memory fragment by two. So this using an artist and memory will dramatically decrease the cost to upgrading gear and enhancing gear which makes it more profitable to upgrade it yourself so what people do is they use artists and memories to upgrade the better gears of the game like zakas dandelions to try and then they sell them on the market for easy money so what you have to do is you just buy these and spend them on with the memory fragments that you have to save yourself a lot of money on memory fragments, which in turn becomes more profit for you. 
artists and memories are the largest source of continuous income through the marketplace so take advantage of this and throwing that on top you can always be buying outfits uh buying outfits and selling them on the marketplace whichever outfit you want to buy and that will get you get you some easy silver you can only buy five a week for outfits so but outfits are the best uh, return on money from what i can tell so definitely just get in on that you can get 37 mil for each outfit so you're effectively getting a dollar per dollar they're almost dollar per dollar um, one mil per dollar i should say so selling these costumes will definitely add up after a while so doing that one every make sure you get your limits every five weeks whenever you get the chance next we're going to go into the costume department um not outfit but costume there's a difference between outfits and costumes the costume department um features a few things that are probably going to be very efficient for you the most important one here is the khaki suit which is pretty much the maid outfit this allows you to process while um being at your storage so you'll see a lot of people processing by their storage what you do is you are able to process items in your storage and this effectively increases your weight limit dramatically which allows you to process for a much longer time afk than you would be able to so this outfit is a pretty much must have for those who want to do a lot of processing um you won't really see many people without this so this is a very important outfit to buy i definitely recommend grabbing this one uh, processing is a very very um profitable life scale to get into okay and then the next one is the the uh this one, the Kenape, the Kenape set, the Ken, I suck at pronouncing this stuff. The Kenape set um, allows you to get cooking ESP plus 15% and cooking time minus two seconds. And that's minus two seconds of your cooking time that you won't be able to get anywhere else in the game. So what this does is effectively it, it decreases your cooking time and it makes you cook way faster than you would be able to for other people, uh, than other people will be able to. Once again, if you want to cook, this is the pretty much the a very very important uh costume to get for cooking if you definitely if, you, if you're going to be cooking you definitely want to pick this one up asap uh it's going to increase your cooking worth dramatically okay and then you got the horse exp this just gives 20 percent horse exp for this one um this one is good too but um i wouldn't necessarily recommend it unless you are going to be training horses up yourself which can be a uh, loss of money what people do is instead of training horses themselves they actually just purchase horses off the market so you might see tier eight horses tier seven horses going up all the time what you want to do is sit up the market and buy those and let's say they don't have any breeds or they do have breeds you can use the breeds and then you can buy horse breeding reset for male and horse breeding remit sale for female so this is once per horse only but it allows you to reset the breed so if it's a so it's going to have uh two more breeds if it's a male and one more breed if it's a female i believe i'm not too sure about that but either way it resets the breed so it allows you to make more money from each horse essentially um and horses go get really really expensive so what people do is they just simply um reset the breeds make the horses have sex again <laughs> and then they simply resell um or sell the t8s t9 uh t8s whatever they get t7 or t8 and uh, resell it on the marketplace or they continuously breed it over and over again until they just have a factory of horses that can continuously breed and if you couple that with the um costume you can put four of your breeded horses on a wagon put this costume on and it, it increased the horse the horse exp for all of them by 20 percent. so in that regard it is very good but regardless even if you don't do that this is very these are these two items are very 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 much at the top of getting that experience uh, getting that money uh, per 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 pearl you get a lot of money from this if you if you do it correctly essentially a horse breed uh it, for t8s can end up throwing profiting you 80 mil so uh yeah definitely want to get this definitely want to get this um there's horse skill change coupons too i'm not sure if i would recommend this uh outside of your first horse you're going to want to get a first horse that has a lot of uh, let's say all the best skills basically so that it, so that his bloodline is good I guess you could say because that's the way this game kind of works is genetics so if you got a good first horse a good father horse I guess you can say you don't really need horse skill resets but you do want to have a lot of the good skills on your main breeding horse I should say until their breeds are gone okay so that's pretty much it um as far as the 
uh, all the items I can think of. I don't think there's anything else that really um, is going to get you anywhere. Um, oh, no, there is. I'm sorry. I forgot one. These right here. You want to get this. Uh, the Serendia storage slot for each. This is a very, very, very good. Very good. Uh, you get a good deal here if you pick eight slots for uh, for all. So this is for storage pretty much everywhere except for Valencia. But no one really goes to Valencia anyway, so I wouldn't recommend getting to Valencia anyway. So this one is very, very good to pick up. You're going to get a lot of pretty much what you're doing right now is you're buying um, you're buying CP pretty much. This is giving you storage slots in all of the areas and there's a maximum of 192 storage slots, but that's not much. This is very, very, very helpful, especially when you're low on CP. So you don't have to spend any CP on storage. Basically, if you buy this, you can just cap the you can cap the the. Um, the storage is out without touching your CP pool, which is very good. A lot of people take this for granted. Definitely make sure you pick these up and cap out. Uh, your CP is going to be, thank you for that. And you're going to have a lot more CP to spend on workers, nodes, um, and all type of stuff like that. So definitely make sure you pick these up. Very, very important. And uh, also these right here, the, uh, the workers ex expansion coupon. These are a must have, must have. Okay. So make sure you pick these up once again you can see even i have a few um these are definitely uh they're 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 restricted three per family but you definitely want to get as many as you can uh other than the valencia one i'd say but you can get valencia if you want to but definitely want to get balano serendia calfion and media this is definitely a big thing with this is this is once again you're effectively buying three cp maybe even more depending on how much cp it gets to get three workers for each freaking um, house for 200, 200 pearls, which is really nothing in a grand scheme of things, but you can only buy it. Um, you only buy three per family. So definitely make sure you cap those out, get that out of the way. And then if you're gonna be doing a lot of horse breeding, you can also get these stable expansions, which are also very helpful. So you pretty much, this is pretty much just buying CP, what you're doing here, which is very, very important. Um, there are caps, but re once you reach the cap, you're good to go. So that's pretty much it. Oh, and yeah, there is a cap for storage too. 192 slots, like I said before, but that's pretty much it. So that's pretty much it, guys. I think I covered everything. Oh, the gear bag. You can also grab this gear bag. This isn't really much pay to win, but what people do with this gear bag is they sometimes put actual gear that they've looted in here to save themselves from weight limit. I think that's really pushing it. I don't think that's absolutely necessary, but it is an option for you if you want to do it. Not absolutely necessary at all, but that's it. And that's pretty much it, guys. Those are all the items I would recommend you getting. Now, uh, keep in mind, if you're gonna be doing pay to win, you definitely wanna buy this package every single time, the $100 package, because you get an extra $15. So it's definitely gonna save you a lot of money if you buy the $100 package versus the $20, you know. You don't really get much bonus here. Um, but you definitely want to go ahead and buy this one because you get a free 15 bucks every time So that's saving you a lot of money just from buying a lot of pearls So make sure you buy them in bulk and you're gonna be able to make a lot there And uh, every time you buy an item make sure you buy it in bulk because you're gonna save a lot of money Like I said you get a free ten dollars off there. So make sure you guys check all this stuff out um, Also, you might want to check out this if you just started the game you might want to get this too. Uh, this summer package if you if you want to but I don't know I don't know if I'd recommend it necessarily, but it is a pretty good deal uh, for right now, especially if you throw on this 20% coupon we got for it. That turns out to 54 bucks versus 91 bucks. So yeah, uh, that's pretty much it guys. I just wanted to go through all that stuff for you guys, let you guys know what's, what's up. These are all my opinions on what you should be buying if you want to advance as fast as possible. As you can see, there are a lot of options in this game, <laughs> but people tell me it's not pay to win. <laughs> Anyways, uh, make sure you t go in the comment box below if I forgot anything or if you have any questions, feel free to ask. Make sure you check out my streams, check out my Patreon. Uh, and yeah, see you guys next time. It's your boy Hero. Peace.